Well, hello there. Uh, as you can see, I'm outside and it's pouring rain. Welcome to another Friday vlog. I'm filming this clip outside because even though it's a bit gnarly out right now, as you can see by the fact that I'm dressed like a walking Patagonia ad, hashtag not sponsored, hashtag please sponsor me though, like seriously. Despite that, my neighbors have been sawing shit literally all day, extremely loudly right outside my window. And I don't want that in my clip. I'm just on my little pre-writing walk. So I'm closing in on the end of my book. I have half of a chapter left in part five and then all of part six. And that will be the end of my book. If you're curious to see how I structure my books in my six part structure, I have a video on that. In the last video, I really was having a, an amazing amount of writing momentum. A lot of the best writing days of my life. I was feeling super immersed, but then I was hit with a little breakdown. Nothing to do with this book. I'm not gonna talk about it. This is a personal thing. I'm at this weird point right now where I'm simultaneously zeroing in on the end of my book, which is so exciting and something that always feels a little sacred. While at the same time, having this massive amount of stress on me that is related to something that I literally can't do anything about at this point. So today I decided I'm going to try and write the end of part five. This is a very monumental part of the book. Really important stuff happens in this chapter. I wrote all of the lead up to it yesterday, just leaving me with the actual, it's not one scene, but it's like a sequence of interlinked scenes to write today. Probably going to just work on that throughout the day because it is a Sunday and I don't really have anything else to do. I was earlier in the month trying to do a write every day challenge, but I decided to relax that a little because I am also having a breakdown, <laughs> a breakdown about something. It's just kind of hard to predict when I'm gonna be feeling like really stressed and I just don't want to force myself to be writing something as exciting as the end of my book. Someone I've worked really hard to get to this point. I don't want to be forcing myself to potentially write scenes of my book that I've been excited to write for two years on days where I feel terrible because I'm having a breakdown. I'm still trying to keep up very consistent writing but I'm not holding myself to write every day like I was at the start of the month which is too bad because it was working very very well for me but alas I'm gonna go in because my hands are freezing so I'm gonna walk home now and then make myself some tea and then do some writing. And hopefully in the next clip, I'm not dressed like a smurf. And then look over there. There's another little bird. Hello there, it's a beautiful day today. And I have an 8 million page to-do list. I'm just on my way home from the grocery store. Yesterday, I finished writing part five of my book. I only have part six left. I have it blocked out in four chapters. I have a really clear vision for everything that needs to happen. I can tell you there is some debauchery going down in this book right now, which pretty fun to write, I gotta say. Every scene, my main character does something where I'm like, you need to be put in a cage for the betterment of society. It's like 65,000 words right now, which makes me feel really good because I don't think part four will need to be 15K, which means I should be looking at a draft that is 75-ish K, maybe anything less, because there isn't really any backstory left at this point. I actually had a really good idea on how to structure the backstory. I'm gonna have to do that in revision though. I've been, I think, backstorying it a little sporadically. My book is in six parts, so I think I'm gonna dedicate one of the first five parts each to flashbacks relating to a certain topic from the main character's past. And so I think it's gonna give some structure to the backstory and I'll have kind of like a distinct arc of backstory in each part, whereas right now it's a bit sporadic, but I'm not really worried about that right now, but part six I don't think is going to have any backstory or not backstory dedicated to a certain thing. I'm feeling very, very, very confident that I can finish the book before the end of the month with ease. Um, I probably need a week, week and a half, two weeks maybe, to finish the book because it's just writing very quickly at this point. Um, I kind of know exactly what I need to know. do. The only thing I honestly don't know is what my final, like, line or paragraph is going to be which normally i kind of know that in advance normally that's something that i'm writing towards is an idea for like the final line final i know what the final scene is kind of like i know the final beat but i don't know exactly what the final scene will be but i'm just gonna have to figure that out as i write and not worry about it and know that i can come back and fix it later so it's not a huge deal to me but Anyways, I'm feeling good about it, and given there's only four chapters left, and I don't think they're going to be very long chapters either, given that it's the end of the book, so there isn't really context padding the events. Everything's been simmering, now it's boiling over. There's no guessing at this point, it's just sit down and write it, and I have the momentum, and so I don't think it's going to take very long, and I don't want it to take very long, because 
I want to just write it and keep up the sense of immersion while it's already flowing. Guys, I've almost done this book. It's so weird. I'm almost like processing that I'm almost done this book because I didn't think I would be done this book so soon. Wrote a very important scene in the story yesterday. I actually think it could be fleshed out and be a little longer given how important a scene it is. Today I'm probably gonna finish the chapter I'm writing which is chapter 18 and then I only have three chapters left. I've been consistently writing every day. I know I said I was relaxing my whole write every day challenge. I have maintained writing every day and I feel like I'm just very motivated by the end being near. It's weird. I didn't think that I would be near the end of this book so soon. In fact, when I started writing it, I thought it would take me an extremely long time to write. It was a struggle at the beginning. If you saw that whole saga, I had multiple videos where I was just really struggling with it. But once I got past that hurdle, it's been very effortless. I think that that hurdle happened because there were some very small nuances to the story that hadn't clicked with me yet. I had a very good understanding of the story, but there were some little nuances that were so crucial but very hard to perceive that hadn't clicked with me. Very almost microscopic things, but they were very important. Once those very microscopic things clicked into place, it was just kind of effortless and from here on out. Okay, so it's kind of been in like four phases. So the first phase was I wrote the first 10K words before I had actually, in my opinion, started the book. I was writing other things and I just wrote the first two chapters essentially to experiment with the voice before I started drafting. So I consider those like, I consider that I started drafting this book in September because I consider those first two chapters pre-writing. It was just to figure out the voice. So September was when I considered myself to actually have started writing it because that's when it was my main project that I wanted to consistently make progress on. And I wrote about 10K words through September and October. That was when I was struggling with the book and it was super brutal. Then I did NaNoWriMo and I think I wrote like 20K over NaNoWriMo. And so that's about, 40,000 words total and then it's going to be just about a month for the final like 35k of the book. It's just so weird to me. I thought it would take so much longer. I didn't know I could write this fast. It would almost be harder to write the book slower because I'd be having to force myself to slow down. Since I came back from my, my post NaNoWriMo break, it has truly felt effortless. Some of the most effortless writing of my life. It's been a long time since I felt that. I haven't felt this sort of effortlessness since Holding a Ghost. And I think that's because this sort of effortlessness for me, it's only going to happen on a first draft. That's why first drafts are so special to me. This sort of effortlessness of writing that you can maintain over a long period of time. That doesn't happen with short stories because they're so short. You know, maybe you can have a day or two of effortless writing, but then the story is done. It doesn't happen for me within revision because it's so much more fractured and logical. For me, a first draft is where you can get into that flow, maintain it for weeks, potentially even at a time. It's such a special experience, I think, to feel so immersed with a story. And I haven't really experienced this since Holding a Ghost, but it's been a really fantastic few weeks of writing and I'm so close to the end. I'm a little sad about it because I didn't think the book would take so long to write but at the same time it gives me some confidence to feel like wow I can just sit down and write a book in a couple months. Once it clicks it kind of falls into place and to me it just is a sign that I've gotten really comfortable with my writing process. Over the course of three books I went from 18 months to drafting a book to just like a couple months. That's a sign that I've just really become so much more comfortable with my writing process. I never thought I would be done this, the book so quickly so it's almost weird to wrap my mind around but I am also excited. I'm having ideas for revision. I'm excited to read it. That's one thing about this book. I haven't been really reading it over. In the past, I felt like I was constantly rereading my work as I wrote it, but I haven't really been rereading it. And so after I finished the book, I'm actually just really looking forward to getting to sit down and read it. This was kind of a nothing update. I don't really know what the point of this update was. I just thought the lighting was really good. So I thought that I would uh, drop it and say something, but that's to say I'm almost done this book and it's kind of weird. So I'm just working right now, but multitasking by listening to podcasts about cults while I work for book research and inspo purposes. So when the Readsy video on tools for outlining comes out, which it probably already is, just know that the whole time I was recording the screen caps and editing it, I was listening to cult podcasts. That's the behind the scenes of what was going on in the background. And honestly, it is giving me good ideas and also making me feel like I have done a good job making the call feel realistic because I feel like it's aligning with what I am learning. So I had a very underwhelming day of writing yesterday. One of those days where I told myself that I would start writing early in the afternoon and then didn't until 9.30 and I was pretty underwhelmed with what I ended up producing. I think the procrastination kind of came from two places. I think first of all it came from, well honestly I just got distracted, making a map for my new fantasy project, which, you know, valiant cause. But I think it's also coming from this thing that always happens to me towards the end of a draft, 
which is that my brain starts to go, ah, don't do it. You don't want it to be over. I think I get really sad about the end of first drafts and then I start procrastinating. And I've done this with my past two novels where I would just put off writing the end, especially happening because so like when I started this first draft in September, I hadn't been writing a first draft since, well, I'd finished the first draft of my previous novel a year and a half before in June of 2021. And it took all the way until September of, of 2022 for me to start another first draft just because I had so much stuff. And like in between that time, there was a lot of drafts of honey vinegar. It was a lot of editing. I wanted a first draft so badly because that's my favorite part of writing. This kind of effortless flow state that I've been talking about over the past couple weeks that only happens to me on a first draft and it doesn't really happen with short stories because they're too short right by the time you get into the flow state they end like you can have a kind of flow creative flow state but it only lasts like a couple days this amazing effortlessness it really only happens on a first draft and i had been missing that because it is my favorite part of writing i do enjoy other parts of the process but this is my favorite it being so long in between first drafts i was craving it so much and then it was really rough out of the gate and so then i feel like it's only it's been so little time that i've actually had with this book and now it's almost over and i think that's where that instinct is coming in i want to finish the book and i'm trying to mitigate that by just starting to hype myself up for what i'm gonna do afterwards i have two and a half chapters left today i'm gonna try and do what i meant to do yesterday which is have like a very full day of writing it's 2 p.m right now i just got back from a very long walk because it's beautiful out right now i'm going to try and have a long afternoon of writing and probably evening as well because it is a Saturday and my only plans for the day got cancelled so part of why the writing yesterday didn't go very well is because it's the end of the book and so I have it more rigidly plotted and my idea of rigidly plotted is probably like an outliner would literally be like you call that rigidly plotted like this is like four notes <laughs> I have the whole structure of the chapters laid out. I basically know exactly what needs to happen. And I think it is a little suffocating for me who likes a lot of breathing room and the wandering and the figuring out is what makes me feel creative. So far, it's felt a little underwhelming to write. To be honest, I wasn't super happy with the chapter beforehand. Like it was okay. And there was a lot that I liked about it, but the scenes felt like maybe they weren't as intense as they should be. So I think there's a lot of revisiting to do in part six so far. And I think that the fact that because it's the end of the book, I've had the most time to think about it. And it's also the end of the book. And so it's pretty clear where like the pieces fit together very clearly for me which is great but also it means that I'm writing with a bit of a more like structured outline than I typically would and I think that that is like not as fun for me and so I think that's partly contributed to why I haven't been as keen on the actual like words I'm producing final two chapters I don't have the scene structure as clearly laid out it's just like a general what needs to happen so maybe those will be a little zestier to write we'll see lighting is very interesting it makes my eyes look kind of possessed so i just had a long afternoon of writing and making dinner i just took a break to do some yoga i find it's it's very important self-care note if you write or sit at a desk to work all day to take time to stretch out your back my back is a, a fragile creature so when i'm having days where i'm doing just like a lot of desk work i just find it's really important to go for walks also just like stretch that shit out i did a few hours of writing i was not truly inspired by really anything i wrote it was pretty underwhelming i wrote like 1500 words and i feel like the scene like what happens i was happy with i actually had a really smart idea for how to for a scene that i hadn't planned to add so i was having good ideas on plot level but just in terms of execution i felt the scenes were not well executed i feel like it's so late in the book there should be a lot more insight and depth to these scenes but the scenes just felt quite depthless and any insight that i felt like I was trying to provide from the narrator's voice felt like very superficial. I don't know if maybe it's a bit of fatigue setting in. The scenes feel like they have no wisdom or insight to them. They just feel a bit flat and that's kind of how I'm feeling. And I know it's possibly fatigue because I have been working on this without break now for 18 days straight. So normally at this time I would take a break but I'm so close to the end that I'm probably gonna have to rewrite a lot of this or at least really work with it a lot and that's fine. I'm very happy with what is happening in terms of plot beats but the execution is just feeling quite lackluster alas it happens i guess this is something that i think has happened to me before and happens to me near the ending near the ending i think i often struggle to play scenes out in a way that feels fully realized in terms of like insight i don't really know exactly what it is that causes it i think i had this problem near the end of holy negos 2 i was feeling fatigued and 
like the scenes were just underwritten in it. I kind of have used the same structure across the two books where it's split into six arcs. The last arc of Holding a Ghost, initially I was very unhappy with how I had laid out the events and ordered the events and that had actually required major shuffling in editing. Here I'm feeling very good about the events themselves and the order that I have strung them in. It's just the execution of the scenes that feels very lackluster and, to be honest, just uninsightful. There's no richness and the detail choice is just very meh. The writing is just very meh. And it, it might just be fatigue, but I just feel like the voice is not as electric and I feel like the voice is a really important part of this book. Rowan having a very electric voice that's really rich with tone is one of my favorite aspects of the book, but I feel like I'm just struggling to access it right now and maybe it's because the scenes are so pivotal, they should be so high in tension, and that's why they're all just feeling a little meh. Other circumstances I would take a break, but because I'm so close to the end, I don't really see the point because then I feel like it'll just be kind of a struggle to get back into it, so I'm just gonna write the end and come back and fix it later. So I'm definitely not gonna finish my book today. I can tell you that. So yesterday after that clip where I was like, it didn't, the writing wasn't very good, but I'm gonna go write more. I did not go write more. Then I just ended up reading. I started Big Swiss by Jen Began and I am obsessed with it. It is so good. So I just ended up reading for a while and I was honestly like, I do not feel like writing. Why would I force myself? I already wrote 1500 words today. It's fine. Pretty busy day. Today it was at like a spring equinox party in the morning and afternoon and then went climbing. I'm like pretty new to climbing, but I did actually have a very good climbing today. I climbed the highest grade that I've climbed yet, so that was kind of fun. I did not get much sleep because my downstairs neighbors were having a party and blasting music. I'm tired. I have a bunch of stuff to do because I have to prep for a meeting for tomorrow, so it's not going to be a productive day of writing. It's not feeling super thrilled by the words that I produced yesterday. It's not exactly a recipe for success. So yeah, I'm definitely not finishing the book today considering I have two chapters left. And they're not gonna be long chapters, but I don't even think I'll write a full one of them today. Like they're like two, maybe two scene chapters, but it's not gonna be a thrilling day of productivity. But that's fine, because I did other stuff today. And it's good to have a balanced existence where you don't only define productivity based on your writing notebook, and also by doing fulfilling things you enjoy alongside that. Long time, well, not long time to see. It's been a few days. I took a few days off of writing you know, originally going into the month, I said that I was going to write every day in March Challenge. Notice I was actually taking quite seriously, and I was writing every day, and it was turning out really well. And then I had said a little while ago, I think at the end of my last vlog, that I was going to relax that just because I was really stressed out about something. I just wanted to like give myself time to work through stress rather than forcing myself to write on those days. But I still had continued to write every day. There were a few days where I didn't write much. It's gone Sunday, it's Thursday now. I was starting to feel almost verging on like a mini burnout. I was completely out of energy. I did not want to write anything at all. I was just feeling mentally and creatively exhausted. I'd been saying that I wasn't gonna take a break because I was so near to the end of the book. You know, at the start of the month, I was, I was writing a whole chapter in a day. I had a 5K a day and I was finding it hard to even write a paragraph. Effie, oh my goodness. She's sad cause her, her boyfriend is at the vet. He's at the vet. He will be home soon. You miss your boyfriend? You miss Toby? He's looking for him. Effie has really blossomed into quite a terrible young woman. She's truly got a, a heart and soul of pure evil. She has a, a best friend, Toby, who if you remember Toby, who we were initially fostering, well, we have him now. We failed at fostering because now we have the cat. They're best friends and he is the one being who who brings light into her soul, because otherwise she has a bit of a reputation for being violent and aggressive. <laughs> Whereas Toby is like the sweetest angel boy of all time. He's such a sweet boy. They really balance each other up. Anyways, cat lore side tangent. I think for me, because I'm, I'm pretty disciplined, when I say like, I'm gonna write every day, I feel like I just have to hold myself to it. I don't even almost have to think twice about it, right? Like it, it's weird. But I think because of that, it can be hard for me to quit. I was like, I think I have to just at this point, like put myself before the challenge. This is the end of my book. I don't want writing it to be miserable. And I just felt like I needed a few days off. So I decided that I was gonna take just a few days off. So I took Monday, Tuesday, yesterday was Wednesday off. And today I think I'm gonna start writing the book again. It's Thursday. My goal is to finish writing the book by the end of the weekend. There's only two chapters left and they're not very long chapters. To be honest, I could probably do it today and tomorrow even. My energy to create has started to come back. Yesterday I did a bunch of world building for my new fantasy project which was really fun and I feel like showed me like 
okay, just a few days rest was enough to make me feel creative again. And I could potentially finish it tomorrow, but if not by Sunday, I think seems very doable. And that's kind of, kind of my goal. I have to get back to work. I'm in the middle of filming like a bunch, doing a huge filming day for Reedsy. So I'm gonna get back to that because I have to film a bunch of stuff so that I can go to Europe for six weeks. So I'm on a mission to finish this book today. I think I can do it. I just sat down to do some writing and I wrote the end of chapter 20, which is the second to last chapter, and I felt like the quality of the writing was quite a bit higher than it had been before I took my my couple days break. So I feel really good about it. Before I took the break, I was struggling to just get words out. I wasn't happy with the words and I couldn't really immerse in the project. But just now I felt quite happy about the writing. And so I feel like let's just make it happen. It's 6 p.m. I'm gonna go take a break to go make dinner. After dinner, I'm gonna come back and just write the last chapter. I think I should be able to write the entire thing. It's not gonna be a very long chapter. I think it's only going to be two, maybe three scenes. Feeling like I can connect to the project. And so I just want to finish the book today. Hello there. So I finished the book. I just went out for a walk because my crafting circle is coming over in like 20 minutes and I just wanted to get some fresh air beforehand. So I thought I would film the final clip to this video because I like this ivy backdrop. <laughs> I don't know, I finished the first draft. I think it was a less emotional experience than the past two drafts I finished. Like when I finished Honey Vinegar, I was quite emotional about it. Same thing when I finished Holding a Ghost, I was also quite emotional about it. I didn't really feel that way this time. I don't think that that's a bad thing. It's not because I'm like less connected to this book. I think Honey Vinegar just took so long to write and it was my first time writing a book in quite a long time. This book, I, I didn't really have any kind of emotions about it. I don't think that that's a bad thing. I, I knew that I was gonna finish the book. There was no doubt about it. It's just a testament to the fact that I know I could finish a book at this point so it doesn't feel like this huge deal. I think I was mostly surprised at how quickly I wrote the book. That was a big surprise for me. I didn't think I was capable of writing a book that quickly and I feel good about the first draft. There's a lot about it that I, I'm really proud of. Obviously it's a first draft, it's very unrefined, and unlike with previous books, I wasn't really editing it as I wrote it. There's a lot that happened on the page as I was writing that was so exciting. Characters especially, as the characters and the relationships were developing and revealing themselves to me, I felt quite thrilled by the way that they were developing in ways that maybe I hadn't planned or expected, but that were so compelling to me. I think it's the best relationship work I've ever done, and I think it's some of the best character work I've ever done. You can look at the draft and go yeah it's messy in some places no shit it's a first draft you know there's stuff that i introduced and didn't really pan out there's stuff where it's a bit convoluted or a bit overwritten but i'm happy with what's there in terms of complexity i feel like i would much rather get to the end of a first draft and be like okay that's a little messy in places idealistically it excites me rather than the opposite. I wouldn't want to get to the end of a first draft and be like, well, I guess structurally that feels very tight, but I'm underwhelmed in terms of the complexity that the story is offering. Then I would be like, how do I add the complexity? Like if it's structurally tight, where, how do I maneuver that? I don't really care that it's messy in places, that's inherent. And it's not like it's incredibly messy. I think it's like normal first draft as you'd expect messy. Mess that's like easy to clean up, you know? Very happy what's, with what's there from a like character and relationship complexity and like idea perspective. That's what I think I would want to emerge from a first draft. The other stuff is easy to fix, you know? That's the kind of stuff that excites me to see it there on the page. If in some places the technical aspect is a little murky or messy or overwrought or whatever, that, that doesn't really matter. Like those are such easy fixes. The first draft to me isn't the time to avoid mess. It's kind of maybe more the time to make a mess and then see what complexity emerges from the mess and then clean up the mess, but keep the complexity. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because I do want to let the draft rest a little because I was feeling like I was verging on almost like a little burned out near the end. But I do plan to come back to it fairly soon. I'm probably gonna start by just actually reading it over because I haven't really been reading it as I wrote. I feel like a lot of the edits will solidify as I read the book over. The draft clocked in at like, it was just under 75K words, which is music to my ears, frankly. Like that's a beautiful thing to me, a first draft less than 80K. But there are also sections that I know are too bloated Near the beginning, I was really spinning my wheels a bit with some of the chapters just because in that section where I was really struggling with the book, there was a few months there where I was really struggling to get into it. If I'm struggling with something, it gets too long. 
for me, my writing will be quite concise when I am able to just like achieve the purpose of the scene because I know what I'm doing and I can just get it to work. When I'm struggling, I find I can't get the scenes to feel like they're doing anything. And so the scenes just end up going on and on and on and on. And I never really end them because I can't get them to work. You know, there are some longer scenes later in the book, like conversations between Susan and Rowan that I think are fantastic. But earlier in the book, some of the scenes are long because I couldn't get them to end, because I couldn't get them to do something. I was happy with how my writing went yesterday. I had taken a few days off because I felt like the writing quality was really diminishing. Towards the end last week, I just felt like the quality wasn't there. In the scenes I was writing, they didn't have any insight. They were very bland feeling. If the writing is going well, I find the writing feels insightful. And there's like layers just in the word choice. It was just very bland, there wasn't any of that. But I felt like that came back. I remember earlier on in the writing session, I wasn't sure if I would be able to finish the book. It was kind of a matter of like, will I be able to connect with it in order to write a chapter and a half? Or am I going to feel this like, resistance makes it so that it's hard to even get a couple hundred words down which is what i'd been feeling before i took a few days off you know that that resistance very early on in my writing session i wrote a line that was just very layered with insight for a very simple thing and i was like oh that's that's a sign that this is going well and it's gonna go well so i was quite happy with actually how the scene turned out after i finished the book i did write down some notes about things that i'm gonna change about the framing of it that i think clicked into place after i'd written the scene but overall i'm happy with it the one thing i wasn't happy with was the last line normally when i'm writing a novel I get an idea for what the last line will be while writing like I know what the last line is gonna be but I had no idea in this case I, I had no idea what the final line final words would be I knew what the last scene would be but not how I was gonna like actually cap it off but normally when I write short stories it's the opposite I normally don't have the final image or final line of my short stories planned usually they just in the moment it feels right and I, I love a lot of the last lines of my short stories I, th I think I'm very pleased with uh, most of them I'm really happy with so I was hoping to have a short story moment with the last line but I did not I'm I'm not happy with the last line ultimately a very small thing to edit because of that I did finish the draft with a feeling of slight underwhelmingness just because the final words that I typed I had to stop and think for like three minutes for a few minutes and I was like what do I put here I can't really think of anything that feels right and so I just had to put like a placeholder the last line was the one thing yesterday where I was like this is so mediocre and doesn't feel like a fitting into the book and that just made it feel slightly unsatisfying I think and leading up to it there were a lot of like very insightful lines that I really liked but none of them really would work as the last line quite happy with the draft I'm happy with what emerged I feel like it was a draft that revealed a lot of things that I could be really excited about but I also finished the draft knowing some stuff that I can fix think that it's going to be not a large edit but an intricate edit like I don't think the changes I have to make to the story are big in the sense of giant movement but i think that the edits have to be extremely intricate i think it's going to be a nuanced edit there's a lot going on emotionally from different angles and i think that it's a matter of weaving that all together properly and i think in a lot of places it is woven together but in other places i think the groundwork's there but the the intricacies don't all fully tied together that's the kind of stuff that takes layers 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 to get in place you know going in with finer and finer brush strokes on each layer i think it was definitely an odd journey with this book there was a period where i was just struggling with it so hard but once i got past that it was quite effortless it was a drafting process of very low lows very high highs and ultimately i would say despite the low lows a lot easier than i thought it would be i thought that this would actually be quite a challenging and long drafting process i felt like i had so much i had to discover about the story and so i thought that that would require me to pause very frequently but that didn't really end up needing to happen i took a long break but that wasn't really because i wanted a long break that was just because there was other stuff that i had to do despite that really low point near the start of the draft after i broke through that roadblock it was a surprisingly easy drafting process i'm not going to remember this book as the book that was hard to write at the start i think i'm going to generally have very positive associations with the first draft i think i'm just rambling on at this point and i also think at this point my crafting circle is arriving thank you guys so much for watching and following along this journey with me means a lot thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in another video bye